Hundreds of ripped off employees haven't seen a penny because the state is not enforcing its own rules. More than $2 million just sitting on the table. Some of it is your money. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is always investigating and presses the state to work on delays. You have people out there not paying their employees and no one cares. Hairstylist Shundell Vance feels brushed off by the state. And no wonder. She's waited five years to collect money she won through a wage claim filed through Illinois Department of Labor. Five years for a mere $307 in back pay. That's now ballooned into as much as $6,000 because of state penalties and fees. I was just like, is this, is this real? CBS2 recently uncovered what happened. Vance's case is in bureaucratic limbo. No one from the Department of Labor ever forwarded Vance's paperwork, confirming the judgment in her favor to the next step, the Attorney General's office. So Vance's employer, seen here, never had to pay. It makes me feel like it's a joke. It makes me feel like everything I did was for nothing. Maybe not. We found a trend that needs attention. We pressed the Labor Department for wage claim data and discovered hundreds of unpaid cases like Vance's in the past two years. More than 450 people have gotten some sort of decision on this, mm -hmm. but only about 20% of them have gotten paid. Do you know why there's this disconnect? Well, I know that, so, Marina Fass Hoopert is in charge of the people who work on claims and who are supposed to follow through. Um, so what I'm prepared to, to talk with you about today is that She seemed to be caught off guard. In the past two years, our findings show more than 75% of workers who won cases against employers still haven't seen their money. Hardworking Illinois residents missing $2 million. We have a lot more to do and a lot more to improve on. The average claim is more than $6,000 in back pay. And now consider this. These demand amounts don't include this penalty spelled out on the state's website. Is that 1% penalty per day really enforced by the department? You know, I, um, so I'm prepared to talk about the mediation program. And so I'm going to defer that uh, answers to those questions to my communications director. But I'm a little confused why you can't talk about some of these things that you're in charge of? Um, look, I mean, I think we're, we're over, um, overall, like we're uh, trying to do the best that we can with the resources that we have to, um, to assess and take a look at what's being owed. Again, by our assessment, more than $2 million is on the table. Most of that is money Illinois workers fought for, won than never received. And claimants aren't the only ones owed cash. Some of this pot should be going back to taxpayers. The Department of Labor, or DOL, is dropping the ball on collecting about $150,000 in administrative fees. And when you hear so often that the state says it's broke, mm -hmm. why is there that much money sitting out there unclaimed by DOL? You know, like I mentioned to, you know, like I mentioned before, I think we're, you know, we, we, we're looking at all of the uh, all of our tools that we have at our disposal to to ensure that uh, we're doing the proper enforcement and the proper follow-up. The Labor Department is only part of the wage claim equation. If an employer doesn't pay after 35 days, the case is supposed to be handed over to the Attorney General, who then can issue citations to discover assets, attach liens, or dock pay from the boss in trouble. Why is an Attorney General Kwame Raoul taking these steps? We gave the AG a whole month to sit down with us too, but his office couldn't figure out a time for an interview. Are you looking at communications between the two departments? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Labor's Foss Hoopert and her team did launch a mediation program last month to help employers and employees reach wage claim agreements on their own. That hopefully closes most cases before they go to a hearing, saving time and ultimately taxpayer money. And it really kind of helps both the claimant in terms of efficiency and, and getting a resolution to their claim. It also helps the employer because it uh, it it helps you know address a, in, in a complaint that's being brought against them. Otherwise, employers can be hard to track down. We're told both the labor department and the AG's office partly blame delays on employers themselves filing bankruptcy or moving. Well, that doesn't explain why Vance's old boss didn't have to pay until we got involved. 
Our cameras easily spotted her at the same salon where five years ago Vance left without a paycheck. Laura Victory, CBS 2 News. The Labor Department tells us it finally received a check for $333 from Vance's prior employer for her pay, but not for penalties or state fees. The old boss's attorney tells us the salon paid everything and has no outstanding balance. Now it's up to the attorney general on how to proceed.